What do you guys know about the rotator cuff? You know, if you're pushing a fucking wheelchair around, one of the reasons I don't push this fucking wheelchair around, not that I can't, one of my biggest fears is fucking up my shoulders. And one of the things with fucking up your shoulders is called impingement. And one of the things that controls and strengthens and keeps you from all this impingement is your rotator cuff. And there are certain exercises that work in order to strengthen it. Today we're going to talk about the rotator cuff and how to go about strengthening it. I don't know. Or just fuck yourself up. What do I care? Really, I don't. Just fucking with you. Do you honestly think I would do a video about something that I didn't give a fuck about? Seriously. Can't be that goddamn stupid. Pay attention to this. Everybody eventually has to push these fucking chairs around. And if you do it all fucked up and you fuck yourself up, this is part of therapy to get yourself unfucked up. It's an unfucked video.
Yeah, outside again. Fresh air and sunshine, bitches. Talk about it all the time. Proper breathing. Proper mindset. Now, as I explained through this video, you know, different muscles and everything in your shoulders and everything else can be strengthened in order to prevent rotator cuffs, uh, tears in certain muscles in the shoulder and the shoulder areas and different things. When everybody thinks about the shoulder, all you think about is the deltoids. You know, a big lumpy thing that's right there. A lot more shit going on in there, obviously, what we just talked about. Whether it be stroke, whether it be quadriplegia, whether it be fucking, I don't know, call it fucking tetraplegia if you want. I don't give a fuck what you call it. Paraplegia, whatever it is. When you are dependent on your fucking arms and shoulders, to be able to get from point A to point B or do whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Rolling yourself around, whatever the fuck it might be. All right? More times than not, that ability taken away from you is even more debilitating. It's physically debilitating. As soon as something is physically debilitating, it's going to be mentally debilitating. Whatever you want to call it, I don't give a fuck. The simple fact of the matter is when something, some strength, ability, or something, or you receive some type of injury, it's going to impact you mentally. You know, just is what the fuck it is. Pisses your fuck off. Maybe you just go, eh, oh well, no big deal. You know, if you're all humdrum about the whole thing, get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants to talk to you anyway. You either take action or sit there like a fucking faggot. That's all there is to it. Um, uh, in order to get from point A to point B so you can achieve your reasons of which, hey, dog, get over here. Get out of the way. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? From getting from point A to point B, which you're going to need your arms for, so you can achieve whatever your your objective is, your C that you even move from A to B for, you're going to need your arms, so you need to strengthen your arms. And by strengthening your arms, you're going to strengthen the rest of your body because everything is all connected. That's the big problem with fucking polysia any fucking any type of neurological disorder that fucking, you know, that, that limits your ability to move, limits your muscular fucking function and shit like that, fucks you all up. You do some of this training, more power to you. You don't do the training, you get what the fuck you pay for. You get what the fuck you pay for. No training, no muscle, no function. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. Thank you.